Okay, I'm going to install the uh, Ford Charge Station Pro here at the house. I've decided I'm going to put it over here by the carport. Right? Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yep, well, we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Have faith. Okay, I think it's good. And you have to whisper, or it will become unlevel. And worse than that, you'll wake up the kitty. Meow. Okay, I got the concrete set, and then we'll be running the electrical tomorrow. I think I got all the parts I needed, and uh, Gonna get help from the electrician tomorrow so I don't electrocute myself. And eventually I'll rig this up to where it actually supports that beam and alleviate these cables just to get them out of the way of my mowing. And they're a little bit of an eyesore, but it also kind of looks cool. Boing, boing. Night, night. Good morning. Looks like the uh, concrete set up just fine overnight. Good old quick creep. So, um, yeah, I still got to wait for my part to come in to hook up my 220, I'm sorry, 240 30 amp uh, input. I'm going to use to an inverter to run the house and charge the batteries or keep them charged uh, somewhat throughout the night. So, last night was my first real good test um, using the Ford Lightning as a power source. To supplement the batteries inside and um, I think I finally got it dialed in it worked great I used half of a kilowatt of energy last night I ran the truck down and it's still running um, from about 72% down to uh, right now it's about 52% so yeah 30 kilowatt hours is what I use and yeah that's exactly right it's 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 got it's pulling three thousand watts for ten hours so that would be uh, 30 kilowatt hours um, I'll show you the inside once I get it a little more cleaned up and this is just my temporary solution here just a self-made cable 12 gauge running into the garage fancy Peace out. All right, lunchtime. Um, homeboy's heading out, and we just got a little bit more to do. Uh, probably could have knocked it out, but uh, we forgot to get one more piece after we just went to Lowe's. Anyway, it always works out that way so far. All right. So, uh, yeah, I thought I was done for the day, so I just wanted to wrap the cord up and uh, go yeah welcome back um i just got the uh parts here to hook the 240 volt up to the house and i have determined i'm going to put it on the back side of this guy because i'm going to need a 25 foot cable to go from here to the back of the truck Waiting for my 25 foot cable, or sorry, 20 foot cable to plug into the back here. It's got the uh, female adapter and it's recessed, but this kind of um, plug does a little bit of a turn, like an eighth of a twist, so it won't come unplugged. And then I'll put something up here so I can wrap it up kind of like this guy. Now, so whenever I get home in the evenings, um, where there's little to no decent sunlight left, um, I will park the car and then turn on the outlets in the bed of the truck. I've probably already done that, but yeah, so I can turn these on here, turn on the bed outlets, 
And then I want to make sure my stereo is off and my uh, AC is not running or even the fan or anything, even turning off the headlights and stuff because I'm leaving the car running. And then I take my extension cord. <laughs> And I usually get a good loop. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness here. Just kind of tie it right there. And then this guy. Yeah, one of these days I'll actually have some grass over here. Uh, but then into the house to an inverter that converts the AC in this truck bed to DC and then it goes into the inverter uh, inputs where the solar panels come in. That truck outlet is just coming directly into here. So out of the bed of the trucks, 240 volt 30 amp outlet is going straight here. And then that sends the AC up to my inverter down into the automatic transfer switch and if so the backup power is actually the normal power and that's coming from the 14 solar panels that will be on top of the shop so if it's detecting any signal there and you plug the truck in then it's going to automatically switch to the truck but if the sun were to come back out it won't switch back over because the truck is going to be the primary in this situation. So anyway, if it's flipped over to the um, solar panels when I come in and plug the truck in, it will. This thing happens automatically. It just goes whomp, <laughs> over to that side. Yep. And so this is just a switch that turns the AC up here or down to this plug here. So I'm waiting for a different type of inverter that is a little more. Um, a lot more efficient than this one I will have hopefully in two weeks and then yes <laughs> this will all go away um, so yeah stay tuned